Development on Macon's Wesleyan Woods Drive now off the table after a unanimous Bibb County Commission vote. Last month, the county zoning board approved it, causing traffic worries among neighbors. Now, as Anthony Montalto shows us, the county has a new plan for the property. The property is about 10 acres, and last month, Planning and Zoning Commissioner said it should be enough to fit 30 houses, but neighbors worried about traffic, especially with the railroad tracks right there. So Commissioner Valerie Wynn, who represents the area, says she knew she immediately had to have a conversation with the property owner. To discuss what else we could do besides what he was going to do. That plan, a 30-house development, contested from neighbors, but ultimately approved by the county's zoning board. The plan didn't last long. Immediately after the rezoning hearing, uh, Commissioner Wynn uh, came up to us and said, would you consider selling it to the city? We said absolutely. So after a conversation with Mayor Lester Miller, they officially inked the deal. One of the things we've been looking for a passive park in the North Macon area, and we haven't been able to find a place to have one, so this kind of suited the needs. So no more traffic worries, and the nature is in the neighborhood to stay. Wayne Johnson, one of the developers, says the amount of people against the project was one of the main reasons they decided to sell. And Wynn says she expects the park to be a success, somewhere everyone can enjoy the outdoors. Just for you to walk in, maybe have part of it as a dog park because it's big enough for that. And there's a big old white house on there which we may want to do something with versus tearing it down. So in all, the county's paying $885,000 for the property itself. That remaining $65,000 will be for closing costs and any maintenance the land needs. Mayor Lester Miller says they're getting the property at a pretty good rate, too. He says it's below the appraisal value. In Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. Commissioners also approved $1.5 million for further renovations at Rosa Park Square in downtown Macon. Mayor Miller says there's now $2.5 million allocated for that project, enough, he said, to finish all of the renovations.